Thank you for the introduction. Uh, my name is Wenbo. I'm a PhD student at Penn State University. As you can see from my shirt, today I'm here to present some magic about deep learning. This is a joint work with my collaborators and advisors from Penn State and UC Berkeley. Modern software inevitably contains bugs. To fix these bugs, an important step is to reason them and find the root cause. This process is very difficult because of the following two reasons. First, failure occurs at the post-deploy stage. And at this stage, the bad input is typically not available. Second, the information left, uh, left for diagnosis is very limited. In fact, over the past few years, our research community has developed many tools to diagnose software failure. The information they commonly used is call dump. A call dump is a fail generated after a program crash. It contains information like memory snapshot and the register value of a dead program. Recently, the development of new hardware gives us a, the capability to trace program execution. Therefore, a call dump also contains the execution trace for training to the crash process. Using the call dump I introduced above, diagnose tools usually utilize backward tent analysis to pinpoint the root cause of a software failure. The basic idea of backward tent is as follows. It takes as input the information contents in the memory uh, in the call dump. Then, then starting from a bad pointer, it rewards the search along the execution trace and pinpoint all the instructions for training to the crash. To perform an accurate backward turn analysis, aliens analysis is required. As you can see here, an inaccurate aliens analysis will lead to overturned issue. This issue could jeopardize the diagnosis of software failure. In this talk, I will first introduce the existing work of memory aliens identification technique and show you the challenges. Motivated by this, I will then introduce our approach, which leverage the magic of deep learning to identify memory aliens and thus facilitate the root cause of software root cause diagnosis. Value site analysis is the most popular approach for memory aliens analysis. Technically, it first partitions the memory into three disjoint regions. Then it will de determine the regions tied to instruction by using the following two strategies, instruction semantics and forward data flow analysis. In particular, for some instruction, YSA could easily complete region assignment based on the instruction semantics. Take the figure on the right hand side as an example. As you can see here, YSA could assign instruction line one to stack region because of this ESP uh, memory and link instruction line five to global region because of this absolute address. For some other instruction, YC performs a simple forward data flow analysis to determine their memory, their memory access regions. Here, instruction line four indicates the right to memory EAX. Through a forward data flow analysis, YC could pinpoint that the value of this EAX comes from line, instruction line two which is a malloc function call. YC could then determine that this EX memory is a heap of size. With each region that YC identified, it then estimates the fungal region that each instruction attempt to excise. As you can see here in this table, each instruction is assigned with a three tuple. It shows the region and offset of a memory excise. Take this minus one four in the first line as an example. It indicates this memory cell accesses a heat stack region with offset one four. After assigning instruction to each region, YC could, could further facilitate software failure diagnosis. To be specific, it first utilizes the region estimation results to construct a confusion matrix. As you can see in this matrix, 
aliens and non-aliens relationship are specified. Finally, we can perform backward turned analysis under the guidance of the identified aliens pair and thus pinpoint the root cause. In real world, whereas you cannot accurately pinpoint memory aliens as we expect, the re reason is as follows. As I mentioned earlier, the log of an execution trace rely on a specific hardware. However, this hardware have limited capability to installing all the instructions executed. This means that the execution trace in a call dump is usually incomplete. An incomplete trace will inference YSA upon its ability to identify memory aliens. In the formal example, as also shown here, through forward data flow analysis, YSA could determine that instruction line 4 accesses heap region. However, without the ability of recording all the instructions, YSA can no longer trace where this value of EX comes from. As a result, it cannot determine which region does the EX memory refers to. In the following, I will introduce how we design our approach to solve this problem. Over the past few years, there are many techniques that use deep learning to perform binary analysis. Technically, they basically use similar architecture. This architecture, this network architecture, takes as machine code directly as input and output the prediction accordingly. However, as I will show, la as I will show later, this network structure cannot achieve very high accuracy because they miss the instruction information within the execution sequence. Inspired by this work, we, pro we propose to use a hierarchical recurrent night for predicting memory region tied to each instruction in an execution trace. The diagram here shows the entire process. First, we train our neural network to, pre to predict regions and then utilize the region information to assist traditional YSA in memory region identification and aliens identifications. As to our proposed network, it takes as input a bunch of disassembly machine code. Then it will transform the machine code within each instruction into an embedding. After this step, we will have a sequence of embedding and each embedding encodes information within each instruction. You can take it as a hidden repetition or some other type of, it's just a hidden repetition of each instruction within an execution trace. We then input this sequence of embedding of instructions into a classifier and obtain the predicted region for each instruction. Technically, our network contains two parts. The first part is an embedding network. It starts with a word embedding mechanism. This word embedding mechanism will transform the discrete instruction into continuous value for further use. Then as I mentioned earlier, we will, we will then transform each instruction into an embedding, which we call it instruction embedding. Here, we utilize a bidirectional LSTM to perform this task. The second part of our network is a classification model. It's also a bidirectional STM. It takes as input the instruction embeddings and output the region, output the region information for each instruction. In the rest of this talk, I will introduce how we evaluate our approach. We first construct our data set. For training set, we select 78 programs in GNU software package. In particular, we run this program and gather their execution trace along with the memory exercise. To test our trained neural network, we randomly select 40 real-world vulnerabilities from ExploitDB. For each vulnerability, we trigger it by running the POC uh, programs and collect the execution trace along with the memory exercise. It should be noted here that this, uh, this vulnerable traces have limited size because, I as I mentioned earlier, the software have limited buffer storage. Uh, the hardware have limited buffer storage. We then trained and test our neural network 
by using the data set I introduced above, we also compare it with many other machine learning models, including traditional sequential model such as hidden Markov model, condition random field, and some modern deep learning based model. It's just uh, different kinds of recurrent nights, for example, LSTM and gated unit recurrent. In the following, I will show you the performance of our approach from three different perspectives. First, I will compare the model performance of our model with, some, with the baseline model I mentioned before. Then I will compare DeepSA with VSA in the effectiveness of root cause diagonals. Last but not least, I will compare DeepSA with another existing root cause diagonals tool, Pump, in terms of efficiency. For model performance, as you can see from this table, that our approach significantly outperforms traditional ML model, that is HMM and CRF. This is because that our model, or all kinds of deep learning based model, have higher model capability than traditional models. It means they can basically learn like more complex pattern or complex rules hidden, like, hidden within the, the, the training data you have. But compared to other machine deep learning based models, our approach demonstrates slight performance improvement. However, this does not indicate our design is redundant. In fact, even only 0.1 percentage of improvement in either precision or recall, we could reduce the, the amount of false positive or false negative by thousands or even 10 thousands. This amount of improvement in regional assignment will increase the accuracy of aliens identification and thus help root cause diagonals. Here is the result of root cause diagonals. First, recall that we only have limited size of execution trees. To evaluate the inference of trace lengths to our approach, we vary the length of instruction prior to root cause and recall the non-aliens relationship that identified by our approach and the traditional VSA. As you can see from this figure, we can first find out that the execution trace length indeed influence the aliens analysis accuracy to some degree. But more importantly, across all the settings, our model significantly beats traditional VSA in aliens identification accuracy. As a result, deep VSA is more effective in finding root cause than traditional VSA. As you can see in this table, deep VSA could identify 10 more root cause than traditional VSA. Last but not least, I will compare deep VSA with pump. As is mentioned before, pump also diagnoses program crash using aliens analysis and backward turn. To be specific, it utilizes root a reverse execution approach to analysis aliens relationship. This approach is, is computationally intensive. Here is a video to demonstrate the speed difference between pump and VSA. The screen on the right hand side is VSA and left hand side is pump. As we can see here, after nine seconds, deep VSA finished diagnosis and pump is still running. And after about 19 seconds, pump finished. Actually, on average, deep VSA is two to 10 times faster than pump. To conclude this talk, conventional VSA suffer from inaccurate aliens analysis when execution trace is incomplete. VSA combined with deep learning could improve aliens analysis in binary analysis and thus facilitate software failure diagnosis. Deep VSA could serve as an efficient and effective diagnosis tool to pinpoint root cause of a software failure. Our code and data, as well as our, our model, can be uh, is published in this link. Thank you all for the attention. Now I'm ready for the questions.
Uh, hi, Brendan Dolan Gavitt, NYU. Uh, I hopefully didn't just miss this in the talk, um, but there are a lot of instructions where they access many different uh, types of memory depending on their context. So like a mem copy might uh, be called from different contexts to access uh, copies between the heap and stack or things like that. So did you have to take that into account somehow uh, when doing your training set analysis? Yeah, we actually uh, like collect our training sets by using different kind of program. We believe that it, it, it will cover the, the case you just mentioned. We just make our training set as diverse as possible and train the neural network that we hope it actually the neural network indeed can like memory or learn different kind of uh, situation that you mentioned before. Yeah. Okay, thanks. thanks. Any other questions? Yes, I have a simple one. Where, where, where else would you sprinkle like this deep learning dust? What's that, sorry? What other analyses would you, like what's next? Like uh, what other analysis would, would, would you want to sprinkle some of this? Mm, that's a good question. I think currently if you like, we, we, we only did region, right? We only like assign memory to each region. But what WSA did is it can all only assign region but also the offsite. Our next that, step is to try to use deep learning to identify not only regions, but also the offset. It's like more fine grade alien analysis using deep learning. All right, let's thank, thank you. him again. Thank you.